Hey, it's Vass here from Metro Hobbies, and a few days ago we actually did a video on aeroplanes and the acronyms that they use, such as plug and play and bind and fly and so forth. Uh, today we're going to be doing something very similar, but with cars, because believe it or not, there are a number of acronyms with these vehicles that can also be a little bit confusing to some people. So hopefully by the end of this video we'll have all that cleared up and you'll know exactly what you're getting when you purchase your next RC car. So to start us off, we've got RTR, which stands for ready to run. And ready to run is actually a very loosely used term when it comes to RC cars, because in some cases they do come with batteries and charger, in other cases they don't. And to try and understand what ready to run really means, we have to go back a number of years to when you were getting into the hobby and every RC car that you would get would be in pieces in a kit form and you'd have to build it and paint the bodies and get your radios and get all your chargers and get all that sort of thing to complete it. Now some of those options are still available today, which we'll talk about a little bit later on, but um, with RTR, you know, back in those days, RTR was more reserved for, you know, your toy grade RCs. Uh, eventually, RTR became a little bit more popular in the hobby and more and more companies started to pre-build their RCs and provide them as ready to run vehicles. However, that didn't necessarily mean that it was complete. It was just that the car was pre-built out of the box and it usually came with the transmitter and you had all the motors and ESCs and everything included and it was ready to run, but not necessarily completely ready to run with batteries and charger. However, today you can get some that are completely ready to run and some that are not. And this is where it can get a little bit confusing for some people, which is why I'm sort of hoping that at the end of this video, it'll help clarify all of those little confusions. So let's look at some of the beginner RCs. So beginner RCs usually come with brushed motors and brushed motors are usually powered by nickel metal batteries. And of course the chargers are a lot cheaper as well. So a lot of these uh, ready to run beginner RCs will actually come with battery and charger included. They may not always include double A's or you know, batteries for your transmitter. So keep an eye out for that. You may need to uh, get some double A's to, to complete that. But aside from that, a lot of the times they will come with the battery included for the car and a charger as well. Now, when we look at brushless vehicles, it's a slightly different set of rules. Because brushless vehicles are a much more powerful pa uh, uh, power system, or they use a much more powerful power system, um, they usually uh, run on LiPo batteries. And at one point, I do remember seeing brushless vehicles coming with either nickel metal batteries or LiPo batteries included. However, when you have a brushless vehicle that comes with a nickel metal battery, you're never really gonna experience the full potential of that brushless power, which is why they kind of stopped that and scrapped that idea uh, pretty much early on because you would get the nickel metal batteries out of the box and just use them as paperweights around the house. Nobody really wanted to run their brand new brushless vehicle on, on nickel metal batteries. So um, you would end up buying the car that came with a nickel metal charger and a nickel metal battery uh, only to purchase a LiPo battery and a LiPo charger on top of that as well. So they stopped uh, all of that. LiPo batteries were included briefly, but uh, they stopped that as well for a couple of reasons. Number one, again, you'd, you'd have a very cheap uh, LiPo charger in the box, which didn't have features like discharge functions or storage functions and so forth, which just encouraged people to mistreat their LiPo battery, which is not a good idea. Uh, and also you had fairly cheap LiPo batteries included, which were either a small capacity uh, or a small size to keep costs down, which didn't really help because you're only gonna get, you know, a couple of minutes runtime out of these vehicles. So they scrapped all of that. So brushless cars just you get the car, you get the transmitter, um, you get manuals, sometimes you get some tools and some accessories and things like that, uh, but that's it. All the batteries and charger you will need to get in addition when you are getting a brushless vehicle. So hopefully that kind of clears that up a little bit when it comes to ready to run. It essentially means that the car is pre-built and ready to run. It doesn't mean that everything is included in the box. So always make sure you read the description of any product that you're looking at buying and uh, check to see if it has any required items on the bottom, uh, just to make sure that you are getting everything that you need to get up and going. 
So our next category is roller, and roller basically means that the car comes out of the box fully built and uh, you know ready to go, but it doesn't have any of the electrics. Now this mainly applies to some of the armor cars that we sell here at the shop, uh, such as the Creighton 6S and 8S. Also got an Outcast 8S EXB that comes as a roller. Uh, also have the Mojave 6S EXB, and of course you have the Limitless, which is the the speed car, which looks a little bit like an F1 sort of style, uh, and that just comes with the car fully built, body painted, but none of these components are included. So usually when you are looking at getting a roller, it's because you are already into the hobby, you may already have some components that you can throw into that car, or perhaps you're looking at getting something that's a little bit stronger or a little bit faster, uh, and that's when you sort of look at these particular products because they do come a little bit better equipped, and not having the ready to run electrics in there, you can of course overpower them with your own choice of electrics, uh, especially with the Limitless, uh, where you can uh, you know, reach speeds of well over 200 kilometers an hour. So. Uh, some of the things that you're looking at here, of course, we have chargers. You're going to need those. If you don't have those already, you're definitely going to need a charger for that. Uh, radios, there's a few different choices of radios. These are just a couple of examples. We have the Code RC radio here, uh, which is a, a really basic three-channel radio. Comes with its own receiver. And then, of course, you're looking at something like the DX5C, which has uh, you know all sorts of different parameters that you can adjust, steering endpoints, dual rates, expos, you name it. It's got also a 20 model memory on here. And then of course, once you get this radio, all you need to do is get yourself uh, some receivers. So you have a variety of different types of basic receivers, two channel, three channel, or even five channel. And then you have the AVC receivers as well, which have you know like a stability and traction control included with those particular uh, products to help with uh, wheel, speed, uh, wheel spin, or if you're having a little trouble keeping the car nice and straight. Uh, steering servos, variety of different options for steering servos, waterproof, non-waterproof, depending on what it is that you want, and of course different strengths, depending on uh, the setup that you want to go with, and of course different power systems. Uh, so you have, uh, you know, I've got a couple of 10 scale power systems here, but of course with some of these 8 scale cars, you're going to need some 8 scale um, uh, motor combos and so forth. We've got a Max 8, Max 6, depending on what it is you want to set up. And then of course, various different types of batteries that you're going to need to complete everything. Uh, so that pretty much clears up what roller means. Uh, if you have any further questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Of course, we'll get back to you as soon as we can, or feel free to call the store. Uh, but that uh, pretty much covers what roller is all about. You get the car ready built, but you do need to uh, you know, finish it off with all of these components that you see here on the table. So now we're going to move on to kits, and this is the one where you pretty much have to do everything from scratch. Now, kits do come in a few different flavors depending on what it is that you're actually purchasing and the brand that you're actually going for as well. So over here to my left, we have the Tamiya kits. A lot of these will come with the motor and electronic speed controller already included. Uh, but then when you look at a kit from Axial here, uh, you don't get any motors or speed controllers. You you have to get pretty much everything. And then when you look at things like the Schumacher kits, which are essentially race kits, some of these don't even come with wheels and tires. So I do always encourage that you do read the um, description of those particular products. And if in doubt, you know, send us an email, or give us a call and clarify any of the, the things that you might still need to get to be able to complete that build. Uh, otherwise you might find that you got a few things missing. So let's start over here with the Tamiya kits. Uh, we've got a number of these that have just come into stock recently. So uh, a lot of these, as I said, they'll come with a motor and electronic speed controller included, but you still need to get a lot of other things. You're still gonna need a, at least a two channel radio. You're gonna need a steering servo to obviously steer the car. You're gonna need batteries and charger included uh, as well to, to go with it. Uh, and you're gonna need some tools. Uh, so I've got a few different examples of tools here. We've got a Core RC toolkit. Uh, we've got a Team Magic toolkit, which actually, you know, is very nice as well. Uh, and we've even got some, uh, some of these little bits that you can put into your drills and so forth uh, to make putting screws on and off a little bit easier. Now, we do need to be careful when using these power tools on RC kits, you are screwing into plastic. So if your drill is a bit too fast or too powerful, you're gonna end up stripping those screws. So just use a little bit of caution when doing that. Uh, and in some cases, uh, like with the road car here, you're gonna need some paint. Now they do give you recommendations of you know, what colors you're gonna need based on the box art, but of course you can paint it up whatever color you want. I've got a couple of different colors there just to give you an example. Uh, now moving over to uh, say the axial kit, 
Uh, again, you're going to need batteries and chargers and motors and all sorts of things. Uh, this one, you're going to need a speed controller. So in most cases, a lot of people would go for the crawler ESCs. Uh, you can use censored uh, crawler combos for these as well if you want to. Uh, that's, that's entirely up to you. Uh, and then, of course, when you move into the Schumacher kits, again, you're going to need, you know, LiPo batteries, you're going to need chargers. Um, you're also going to need a body because a lot of these, obviously, the body doesn't fit in this box. So you're going to need uh, to get a body for these uh, particular kits. Uh, radios, you can go as, you know, as basic as something like this, or you can go a little bit more advanced with the Spectrum or Futaba options that we offer. Uh, toolkits, usually you already have your own toolkit when you're getting into this sort of thing, but if you're just starting out, Definitely, you're going to need a good quality set of toolkits because uh, there's going to be a lot of screws that you're going to be putting on there. Uh, and of course, keep an eye out for you know any needing of uh, tires, wheels, or any of those other components that you sort of almost think that would come included, but a lot of the times are not. Um, so that pretty much clarifies the kit. Uh, essentially, you're going to get a box full of plastic bits, uh, and you're going to need to do uh, some gluing of wheels and tires. You're going to need to do some painting and uh, screw everything together. The bonus of all of this, you know, a byproduct of building your own kit is that you know how to work on it. You will know how to kind of diagnose it and tinker with it and tune it and adjust it uh, to suit your driving style or driving experience. So uh, a kit is definitely worthwhile. A lot of people actually prefer, prefer to buy kits because that's half the fun is building your own RC, seeing it come to life and then going out there and using it. And there we have it, we have come to the end of yet another video and hopefully this has helped some of you out there uh, we, with clarifying a lot of these terminologies that are used on some of these RTR vehicles and rollers and so forth. Now before we go, I do want to point out a couple of honorable mentions that you'll find, uh, you know, sometimes online and some people might uh, throw these terms around and that is almost ready to run and sliders. So almost ready to run usually applies to a car that is already built, comes with the motor, speed controller and steering servo, but it won't have a radio to go with it, hence the term almost ready to run. So you'll need to supply your own radio, of course you're going to need battery and charger as well to complete that. And then the next one is slider. Now slider usually applies to chassis that are pre-built, but they don't have wheels and tires, meaning that you can't roll the chassis, you can only slide the chassis hence the term slider. Now that may or may not come with the body and it usually, if it does come with the body, it's usually uh, clear. So you just keep an eye out for that. Uh, at the end of the day, I think the best that you can get out of this video is that you do need to read the description of all these products and work out what it is that you actually need to complete that product so that when you do get it, and you take it out of the box, you've got everything that you need to obviously get running. So hopefully that has cleared everything up for you. And that is it for me. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Check it out, check us out on socials and check out the video description. We'll have links in there to various of the different products that we've listed here today. Thank you again and I'll speak to you all next time.